Okay, so it's finally time for April favorites. Finally, I know I waited a little bit long. Forgive me. But I got a lot of stuff, so let's just talk about it. First off, I'm really impressed with these Rimmel eyeliners. They are the Scandalize eyeliners, and they're supposed to be waterproof, and I got two colors. The first color is 004 Taupe. I don't know why I picked this color, because it's not a color that would typically attract me. This taupe is very gray and very weird, and I normally don't go for gray eyeliner, but I'm really liking this color. Mainly where I use this color is underneath my lash line like halfway down it's not too dark it's definitely appropriate for like any time it doesn't close your eye i have worn it in the waterline before but i do like to wear this one a whole lot more in the waterline color of this one is nude and you don't find a drugstore nude eyeliner very often. I'm not sure how long you've been watching my channel, but I used to have an Essence eyeliner that was kind of a nudie peach kind of, and I got to buy one, and it lasted me a really long time, but then they discontinued it, and it was awesome, and it was so cheap, and it doesn't exist anymore, but now this exists, and this one is even more opaque, and I use this one in my waterline, and it is pretty dramatically brightening, but... I like it. It's not like either of these are expensive, but compared to Essence, like anything is expensive. I normally don't try a lot of Rimmel and I'm probably missing out because I really like these. Before I go on to my next favorite, I want to adjust something really quickly. Obviously, I'm filming in kind of a different spot. I've been trying to mix it up. I feel like the white background is so devastatingly boring, and whenever the sun's out, I do it in front of my big window, but I don't know. I just can't find a happy place, and I don't know if this is a happy place. This is like a big piece of furniture that I just brought in. I had it before, but I didn't think I wanted it in here. I think I like it in here, but I don't know if it's my ideal background. Do you want to see what's inside this little cabinet? It's like halfway empty, but it's halfway filled with crazy. And it's got a key. Whoa! Nail polish hoarder! Stop looking in there. So yeah, right now I'm kind of at a loss about where to film. Do you have some thoughts? Give me your thoughts down below. Let's move on. My next favorite I want to share with you is this Revlon Lip Butter, and the color is Raspberry Pie. I have it on my lips right now. When I bought this, I was at my super fancy Walgreens that I love very much because it has like a fancy little Dwayne Reed-esque section. I just, I don't know. It's big. I think, I don't know why I like it so much, but this was sitting in the display with the new lip butters, and I was under the impression that it was one of the new colors, so unfortunately, I was confused and I was fooled and I think they just had like some open spaces in the display and so they put some of the older colors in there and people like me who don't know their lip butters fell for it. But it still worked out for good because I really like this color and I know it's not like the typical like spring summer color but I don't know I'm liking it. It's a darker kind of color but it's poppy enough to still be like whoa spring happy in my mind what do you think i think it's good i posted an instagram and i was like oh i love my new lip butter and then i realized that it wasn't actually one of the new ones and i was like oh never mind but nobody called me out oh, thank you <laughs> You guys are a little too awesome sometimes. Next up, this is a palette that I put together at iMats. I showed you guys in my iMats haul. I also talked about some of these concealers in my Sister Time Q&A video I did with my older sister. I have to include these two concealer shades in my favorites because I've been using them consistently. They're super opaque. I didn't tell you the name of them. They are the Krylon Dermacolor concealers and I actually don't know the particular shade names, but there's one that's a little bit more of like a pink shade and there's one that's more of a yellow shade and quite a few times through this month I've just used concealer and then just use like a little bit of powder in other spots and bronzer and blush and all that stuff you know I can't say no to it next up this is an oldie but a goodie it's Coralista by Benefit it's a box blush that I've literally had for years and years and years and years and years and years and years like I don't even know how long like I know it takes a long time to hit pan on a Benefit box blush yeah I've had it like way longer than that because it wasn't like my absolute favorite blush for a really long time but for whatever reason while well, I was kind of like reorganizing and throwing out old makeup and stuff like that like nothing crazy I still have way too much but 
I don't know why I just started using this again I have it on today I'm just loving the sheen like Milani Luminoso is still on par with this definitely still one of my top favorite blushes but I've really been enjoying this one lately I'm sure everyone and their dog has already tried this one and you already know it's awesome but I just reminded myself so I thought I'd include it next up is a fashion favorite and it's Target dresses. I know, I, it's not just one dress, I have three that I've just recently gotten and I'm obsessed with. This one's Mossimo and then the other two are Exhilaration. They're the exact same dress but they're different patterns. They're all kind of like springy, summer, just like comfy. You don't even have to think about it. I just wore this one to Ikea yesterday and it's actually way too short for me. I got this one in extra small and then this one in a small and this one definitely fits me a whole lot better. This one has horses, amazing. This one has stars and it's kind of like denim. They're all short, they all have a little cinch around like the waist slash empire kind of under boob area. They're just like playful, pretty, not too serious, totally comfortable. I don't know, these dresses just like make my life good. Next favorite is this flower on your mark liquid eyeliner and I got it in brown. It's the Drew Barrymore flower line from Walmart. It's so easy to use. I love the tip. It's so easy to apply, like ridiculously easy. I haven't tried the black one so I don't know how good the black one is but I think I will try it because I really 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 like the applicator of this one and the color payoff is definitely nice but of course with black it's a little bit harder for it to come off like as opaque as I would want it to be if it were black. Brown obviously is like more casual and you've got a little bit more like I don't know room for error but I like it. My next favorite is kind of like a weird off topic one because it's totally unrelated to makeup or fashion or you know the reg stuff and it's a commercial actually it's kind of two. First I talked about this on Instagram and I think I've talked about it on Twitter another time, but it's those AT&T commercials where it's the guy and he's talking to the little kids and they're talking about like things don't have to be complicated or whatever and they just say like the craziest stuff ever. I posted a picture from the one where they're asking him if it's better to be fast or slow and the little girl's like, you gotta be fast because you don't want to turn into a werewolf and then you have to get shade because you're hot and you're like, woo 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 woo, it means like... <laughs> I just want to be human again and that is not a direct quote, but I love that one But I also love all of them like I can't pick a favorite. Do you have a favorite? I don't have a favorite because they are all just that good like the tape of cheetah to her back I actually really love when I love commercials and I kind of love how weird commercials are getting lately Honorable mention the Virgin Mobile where they're like retrain your brain and it shows like all the freaky stuff The other honorable mention is the KFC one where the people are like I eat the bones I eat the bones I eat the bones and they have like just sheer terror like I eat the bones I only like the long version I eat the bones Maybe other people don't make themselves laugh, but I do. Like quoting things to myself, I don't know. And now for my only unfavorite. This is the Flower Lighten Up Brightening Concealer, and it's kind of one of those pin concealers. And I got it in BC1. I think it might be like the second to lightest shade. I'm not sure. It's definitely way too light for me. And I think that they just like didn't have the right shade available. That's the thing about Walmart. You never know what you're gonna get. I used to use the Neutrogena one and I remember liking that one. So I was like, oh, I'll give it a shot. And I think it was mostly just the consistency. Like it's a little bit drying. I don't know, just overall, I just didn't like this thing. I mean, when you're putting something under your eye, it just can't be drying. It just can't be. And this is for me. Hopefully I find a different use for it because I definitely missed the boat on taking it back. I have a lot more flower stuff that I want to show you guys. Hopefully I'm doing a haul soon. All right, so that's everything. All the favorites, the many, many favorites, and the one unfavorite from April. April was pretty good. Let's hear it for May though, because summer's coming up. Yes. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thumbs up if you did. If you guys have any comments or questions or whatever, you can comment down below. You can also hit me up on Facebook or Twitter, Instagram or Tumblr. I'm always there and I always want to talk to you guys. It's Leanne Says. Please take a second and subscribe to my channel if you would like to. I would like it if you did. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone! <laughs> Yet again, me, laughing in a room by myself. Oh shoot, y'all. Yeah. I ate the bones. <laughs> Other people probably think that's so dumb and I think it's so funny. Because that was no way to show a dress. It's come alive. Which I can use this palette as a fan. I think I have too many favorites. Ooh, already not breathing. There's like everything in both of my eyes. Um, no will not communicate. Not a lot of thought goes into it, but obviously I need brows. This is what I look like without my brows filled in. And some people say that it looks okay, but I feel like I look like a baby and my brows are naturally just like really, really light. So I darken them and I feel like a finished person.